it's Kim from Ocean Bayou Yoga. Thanks so much for joining me today and welcome back to our channel. If you wouldn't mind before we start, go ahead and pressing the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. This way you can be notified when we create new awesome yoga videos. So let's go ahead and sit comfortably, rest your hands in your lap, close your eyes and just begin to settle into your breath. We'll just take a couple of deep breaths here. Breathing deep into the lungs. Slowing down your exhale. Okay, last deep breath here. Slowly exhale, and then we'll go ahead and straighten our legs out on our mat. Toes point up towards the sky. Inhale and sweep our arms all the way up. Exhale, we're gonna fold forward and slide our hands back up our legs and back up to the sky. Exhale, back down. And just continue to move freely with your breath. Moving with your breath. And then this one, we're gonna exhale, and we're just gonna let the hands rest down by the feet, the ankles, or the shins. Let the head relax. And inhale, rise back up with the arms, and we're gonna begin some twists. And exhale, we're gonna to spin to the right and drop the hands down, take them back up, spin to the left. Exhale, hands come down to the right, inhale, exhale, hands to the left. And here comes my assistant, Kala. You'll probably see some funny shenanigans as the class progresses. Good, this will be our last one. And exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, arms back up and exhale, hands down to your heart. Inhale, arms up and exhale, cactus. Good, continue to breathe, opening up the chest, rolling the shoulders back. This will be our last one here. Good. And exhale, hands come back down behind you, fingertips towards your hips, lift your heart, lift your gaze, roll your shoulders back. And on the exhale, round your spine, lift your heart, round chin to chest, and inhale, lift your heart. Good, last one. And then we're gonna bend the knees, feet flat on the mat. And on the inhale, lift the hips up nice and high, making a reverse tabletop. Exhale, lightly touch down. Inhale up, exhale down. And exhale back down, either roll over the knees or swing the legs to one side, but we're gonna end up on our bellies. And then inhale up into cobra, exhale back down. Inhale, cobra, exhale back down. Oh, here's my silly assistant coming for a cobra ride. Exhale back down and inhale up. Move with your breath, and then we're gonna take the arms out to the sides like an airplane. Legs up too, if that works for you. If that's too much, then you can omit the legs. Exhale, we're gonna rest. So bring the arms wherever they're comfortable. Let your head rest down. And then we're gonna come up onto all fours and begin some cat cows. Inhale, lift the gaze, lift the tailbone, exhale, round the spine. Good. Okay, last one. And then inhale, lift your right leg up behind you, cross it over your left leg, look towards your toes, inhale it back up to this other side. And then just continue to cross the leg back and forth over your bent knee changing your gaze to follow your foot. And then we'll bring that knee back in and do the other side. So same thing, taking that straight leg to cross over the bent knee, 
changing the gaze to follow the foot. Good. And then we'll drop the knee back down, curl both toes under, lift the hips up high for downward facing dog. Pedal out your heels if you would like. And then we're gonna inhale and lift the right leg high, stack our right hip over our left hip, and we're just gonna begin to straighten and lower that right leg. Just bending at the knee, just a couple of times on each side. So drop that leg down, inhale, left leg up, and just bending that knee. Making sure the hips are stacked, that the belly is open towards the side of your mat. Smoothly breathing, and exhale, release that leg down. Let's go ahead and walk to the top of the mat. Inhale to a flat spine, and exhale, forward fold. We'll do a couple of those. Inhale, flat back, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, and exhale, forward fold. Good. And then we'll bend into our knees and round the spine all the way up and come right into Utkatasana, chair pose. Holding here, pressing down through the feet, reaching up through the fingers, and good. Exhale, all the way back into our forward fold. Then back into bent knees, arms up, straighten the legs, and forward fold. Bend at the knees, arms up. Exhale, straighten the legs, forward fold. And bend at the knees, arms up. And exhale, forward fold. Great. Bend at the knees, arms up. And hold here. Gaze is up. Smooth breath. Palms can connect if that doesn't hurt your neck or your shoulders. And then we bring the hands right down to the heart and come into a twist. So the left elbow comes across to the right knee. Lengthen your spine back to center and over to the other side. Good, back to center, reach the arms up high and exhale, side body stretch. Right hand down along the leg, left arm over the ear. Back to center, other side. and right back to center. Exhale, hands come back behind you, pressing into the low back, lift your heart, push your hips forward, and exhale. Good. Hands come back down to the mat, and we step back into plank. We're gonna hold here in plank. Engage your core, press back through your heels, and right into side plank. So you can modify here if you need to, come onto your forearm or onto your knee, and then we'll try the other side. Good, left arm lifts. And exhale, back down, drop onto the knees. Swing the legs around. Come back to seated. Bring the soles of the feet to touch. Lengthen your spine. Relax your shoulders. And breathe here. And then we're going to exhale, fold over our legs. You can use your elbows to gently push your knees down. And slowly round the spine back up. Bring the knees back together. Take them out in front. Maybe give them a little shake. And then scoot forward to lie down on your mat. We're going to lift the hips up for bridge pose. Roll the shoulders under. And exhale back down. Good. Take a breath. 
And then we're going to head back on up. Roll the shoulders under again. Lift the hips high. And yes, it is quite tricky doing bridge pose with a toddler on your belly. So now let's drop our knees over to the right side. Take our arms to a T. Gaze to the left and melt right into your mat. Good, and then we'll change sides, bring the knees back to the left side. Melt here for a moment. Back to center, <clears throat> back to center, straighten the legs and get ready for final relaxation. Palms face up towards the sky Legs completely relaxed, face is relaxed. Every single muscle in your entire body is relaxed. No effort is needed anywhere. Letting everything just melt away. Be still for a moment and see if you can feel that energy, that prana running through your bodies, that life force or energy. We created that prana through our deep breathing with our movement. We can send some of that prana throughout our bodies wherever we need it most. Now, if you have more time to rest in Shavasana, definitely feel free to do so. Otherwise, we're going to begin to make our way out, wiggling our fingers, wiggling our toes, reaching our arms up and over our head for a big stretch, bringing the knees in towards our belly, gently rocking side to side, rolling onto our right side, curling for a moment, and then slowly pushing ourselves back up to seated. Any comfortable seat works, eyes closed or gaze low, bringing your hands to your heart and just taking a couple of deep breaths here, noticing how you feel, noticing that sense of peace within. Go ahead and take your thumbs up to your third eye point, take a deep inhale and exhale, namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me for this practice today. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe. Thanks so much, calluses. Catch you later. Peace and love. I'm going to leave you with a quote today by Yogananda. Have only love in your heart for others. The more you see the good in them, the more you will establish the good in yourself because we are all just one, all interwoven. See you next time.